Well, howdy, 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 y'all. Teresa here and... And... Bag dropping Brad. Bag dropping Brad. Brad, you know what I do with my cell phone, hon? Um, no. I think the beluga face is laying on it right here. Last I saw it was in that little black... Uh, <laughs> no, the dog is laying on it. No, he wouldn't do that. Yeah, because I think we've been gone. So we've been gone. Oh, sorry, Mama. Oh, come here, baby. I just, I didn't mean to hurt you. Come here, sweetie. The wheel of my dresser or my desk. Come here, baby. Got on her ear a little bit. You okay? I know. Anyway, it is May 2nd, 2017. It is 6.31 p.m., people. Yeah, we've been busy today. Busy, busy, busy. We've been on a run since we got up. Uh -huh. Um, what was I going to say, honey? I don't know, sweetie. Uh, you know what the weather is? Hot. Hot. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. 83 degrees. Nope, sun's out. nope, nope. Wrong. It's going to start getting dark here in the next few days. few days? See, what do you got naked there? I know. Um, it is... 86 degrees out. Real fill is 87. High will be 86. The low will be 60. And Brad's coming through whether or not I'm ready. Woo! Yeah. It's been one of them busy days. What did we do yesterday, honey? Work. Brad worked. Where'd I go? There I went. <laughs> Brad worked. And, well, I tell you, if the big beluga face gets off, he's laying Look at him, honey. Yep, I think he missed you. <laughs> I think so. Poor Charlie. Poor Charlie Ann. What are you doing, Char Charlie? There's Nixie. Nixie, what are you doing, huh? Oh, what's that go on? Did you miss me? Did you miss Bomo, huh? You did. And Charlie! Down here, right, Charlie? What are you doing, Charlie? I don't know if I can show you or not. Let me see. Can we show Charlie? There's Charlie, kind of. Charlie! What are you doing, Charlie? Are you wagging your tail? Huh? Was I gone, huh? Was it gone? You hate it when I'm gone, don't you? Like, where did my dad take my mom? Right? Yep. So, anyway... Let's see. Yes. Oh, sorry, honey. That's okay. You guys saw I did a great big order. I did a, a video on a great big order of Hershner's yarn came in. And um, then I made hair scrunchies because I had an, um, my friend Angie ordered a couple. And like I said, I doubled it because I wanted to. Um, and so that went out. That shipped out today also. Um, and... Uh, it was kind of stormy. It rained just a little bit. It it just a little bit here. Yeah. Did it rain in, there in Panathea? Yeah. Just tonight enough to make the whole parking lot wet, and that was about Is that it. That it? Yeah. And like I said, Brett had to work, and then he did cook hamburgers just inside when he got home. Because, um, uh, um, I don't know why I didn't, didn't, didn't feel like really... I don't like to cook it if I don't have to a big old meal late at night. And I won't now because here starting at 6, they're going to be open an hour later and I'm not going to cook a great big old wing ding dinner. I'll cook it earlier and then it can heat it up, which he doesn't mind. You know, but I don't like to be standing there 11 o'clock at night cooking a whole dinner. Um, basically, if you're heating up the whole, the whole RV. So... Um, that's what all we did. I uh, finished a couple more hats, which I can't tell you, show you because, or finished one because it went out in the order. So the video right before this is the video on the, we counted them, we took pictures. There was 100 hats that went out. A 16 pound box. Um, and it is going to soups and socks in Vancouver, Washington. Um, <clears throat> they're a great organization that go in 
and feed the homeless on Sunday when there's no other soup kitchens or anything open. So they make all their soups in their kitchen. They make like different, all you know, different, different types, you know, like three or four different types. They also do get, if they're lucky, they get a few donations of like a bakery, you know, a bake, local bakery or whatever will donate. Um, sometimes they get donations of toiletries and like socks. You know, that's one of the things really requested. Gloves. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, I donate hats, um, and I'm sure other people donate a lot of other things, and they do not take cash donations because there's way too much paperwork, so, um, but yeah, they're a really great organization, this is the second time I've donated to them, but this is the first time that it is in with the hats for 50 states, so they were state number one. Next month, the, uh, June 1st, the state will be Arizona, uh, and so I'm going to be working on that. It will be a smaller order. This was about six weeks this time. That's why it was 100 hats. <clears throat> it was a lot of fun. My husband helped me box it all up, which I'm very grateful for. I'll show you a few pictures. Um, this is one of the pictures of the hats. And then another picture of another set of hats. I ended up having to stack them all on top of each other because there were just so many on a bed. And then that. So, um, yeah. Um, that's what I do at night and, and stuff to keep myself busy. Um, so today, like I said, we got up immediately... After I got dressed, we started doing that, getting that ready. Got the other order ready to be shipped. Um, and then we left. We went and ate at China Buffet. And um, did a little bit of driving around. Went and got our eyes checked. We really liked the optometrist there at uh, Walmart Center. We got the prescription so that we can uh, uh, get our... Um, where are the prescriptions? Are they at? They're in there. That okay, um, bag. so we can order glasses, and then we just did some grocery shopping and stuff. Um, you know, right, hun? Uh huh. Brad's getting ready to go throw a couple of loads of laundry down in the um in the laundry laundry room because uh, we don't have like. <laughs> I'm going to have to wear a, a long pair of pants today because all the other ones are dirty, you know. And he's about out of run under roos. Yeah, yeah. You know, so. And, uh, might have to revert back to my old pair of socks. Well, no, we'll get you something done. Yeah. Uh, did you grab that bag of socks? Yes, I did. Okay. So, um. Oh, double check, honey. Yeah. Uh, so that's about all we've been doing. We've been gone all day. Uh, you know, and um, we're so thirsty in Walmart, and we're we're not normally that way. And I'm not normally, especially that way. And we're both just dying. And this this Walmart doesn't have like um, the deli section doesn't have like where you can get uh, fountain drinks. So uh, we end up getting a bottle of cold tea, and we're supposed to split it, but I drink most of it, huh? You probably thought I was a camel. I was impressed. Yeah, so I yeah. was just that thirsty. Usually you're giving me grief about how much I can drink. Yeah. Good news was there's no sign of uh, diabetes in our eyes. That's what the eye doctor told me. Mm -hmm. um, and our prescriptions have just changed somewhat, you know, a little bit. And it's been three years, so that's good. I mean, enough that we need to get new prescription glasses, but... You know, uh, not enough that we couldn't still drive with them and everything, basically. So, you know, everything's good that way. Um, and tomorrow morning we have doctor appointments. So, with the new doctor. Well, actually with with his uh, PA. So, uh, you yeah. know, that'll be fine. So, good. Yeah. My blood pressure was 130 over uh, 78. Which they said was good. Mine was 119 over 73. That's very good. 
-hmm. But 130, you know, if you can get me below 140, you're doing good. That's even with blood pressure medicine, so I was pleased with that. So, anyway, that's all we really got going on. I think we're just going to have some frozen burritos tonight because, like I said, we've been gone all day. And, been running and going. You know, we're hoping tomorrow that we can go over to Carabell um, and um, Dog Island and a bunch of islands like that that aren't too far. Um, Brad's going to charge up his camera. And we're probably going to... That's what you're done with doctor appointment. It's probably going to yeah, hit the road. Right, hen? Yes, we are. So. What? What? Oh, actually, don't we through. I'm trying to sew. I got all this. I got this little dish of change. Yeah. And I'm trying to sort when uh, I bought quarters a few days ago for laundry. They were loose, so I just threw them all in there. Yeah. Now I got to go through and sort them all out. <laughs> Why? Because I keep the quarters in. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, so for laundry. I get it. And uh, instead of throwing, I start throwing the quarters in the wrong, wrong container. Okay. Yeah. You done? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you having a good day? I am. Got to spend the day with you. We're both tired. Yeah. I'd like to lay down. Are you? I'd like to, but I got to do laundry. Okay. So. Couldn't do laundry in a little bit. No. Why? Because I don't want to be out. I don't want to be out after dark. <laughs> Are you serious? No, I'm scared of the dark. Are you scared? I'm scared. Scared. Yeah. Oh. Scared. I'm scared. Gird. I can't find the hole. There he is. I'm not even touching that one. Okay. All right. Say bye to yes. everybody. Bye, everybody. That's my vape. Give me that. <laughs> Please. <What? laughs> that was kind of scary. Then, we're, we're in the restaurant, people. And you know what he does to me? First of all, he was in trouble this morning because I'm trying to make this video on these hats. And he starts being a smart ass right away. You know, because I called him Bradley. Well, that's his legal first name. You know, and so then he throws me off. You know how, you women know how this is. You're trying to make the video and your husband keeps being such a smart ass, getting you off track and stuff. And then you can't remember anything that you were going to say. Knock it off, Red Ivy. And <laughs> then. In the restaurant, he told me I got this burger coming out my nose. Well, you did. How? Oh, I never, I... I never picked it out. You know, so you said it was gone. I think you sucked it back up. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Hey, but you know, and I'm like, so I've got this napkin over here. I'm like, <laughs> no, dork. And he's like, no, look up. No, look down. I think he was just messing with no, me. No, I wasn't. Mm -hmm. It was a creepy crawly. Mm -hmm. It was prairie dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Prairie dog. No, it was. That's gross. I didn't know what prairie dog hit meant, people, until. Yeah. That was an education I could have done without. Right, honey? No, I think, I think it bettered you as a person. Overall. No, I don't think so. But anyway, I hope everybody has a great day, and I want to thank everybody again who has been donating yarn. I did include all of your names in on the uh, card uh, that I put in with the order, or with the shipment. And, um, you know, of course, no, it wasn't all you just for that. I still have, you know, yarn sitting around and stuff. Um, but uh, I could not do this without you guys, because uh, if, if we did have to pay for all of the yarn and all the shipping, we would not be able to do this. Uh -huh. Right, hon? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I love you guys. I do cherish your friendship. And I think you guys are... Awesome. Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? Like that. I can't help I do I think you guys are awesome. And Brad Heidi is... Bradley is in so much trouble right now. Are you? That's normal.
So, when Charlie is in trouble, he just lays on his back and spreads his legs. <laughs> so, if I lay on my back and spread my legs, am I going to be forgiven? You've already tried. That didn't work. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, talk to you guys later. Say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye.